Hello there, welcome to this channel. My name is Dick van Overen, and in this seventh video, I will show you how to configure a security policy in Pensando Services Manager. Um, this whole video series is all about how to configure and set up data center networking with Aruba OS CX switches, um, Aruba Fabric Composer, and PSM. So we're also covering a lot of stuff around the Aruba 10,000 switch, which is the distributed services switch. So this switch allows you to um, provide stateful layer seven firewall services um, to the, um, you know, to the to the to the hosts that are connected to the top of rack switches to the leaf switches. Okay, let me just quickly show you the diagram. It's here. Uh, it's really very straightforward and simple. I'm just going to uh, create a policy that blocks ICMP between two networks. Um, actually, in the previous video, I already created those networks in um, uh, in AFC and PSM. Um, um, but I will uh, in this video, I will just show you where it is configured, just as a refresher. Here we go. So we are in the Pensando Services Manager. Uh, let's create a uh, policy first. Uh, well, actually, no, let's show you the networks. So you can see network 1201 and 1202 here. So these are the networks that, uh, that were created. Um, and uh, actually, just to quickly show you where you can do this, uh, you go into routing VRF, uh, you go to the, well, VRF that you uh, want to create the VLANs on, and you just create the networks here. So it's in actions add, and then you add the networks here. You can also add a network here, and then we'll also be synchronized with AFC, but you know, uh, either way, it's either in PSM or in AFC where you create that network. The security policy, let's create a security policy first that allows you to um, well, it's a very simple and straightforward security policy. I'm just going to block ICMP. Okay, so uh, block ICMP. Um, and I, for this policy, obviously, I need to create some rules. And I'm denying ICMP. I can provide different um source ip addresses destination ip addresses but uh, just for the sake of simplicity i'm just gonna block any uh you know any any source and SD, any destination um the protocol that i will be using you can see here uh you can say a tcp udp icmp gre well um or a, or a protocol number um, and then you can also provide the uh, the ports that you uh, that you want. So, for example, if you want to block on uh, DNS, uh, you enter UDP in here, and then for the ports, it would be UDP port 53, for example. Um, in this case, I'm going to block ICMP, which is on protocol, and I'm going to add another rule. Uh, that's actually what you have if you only specify this deny rule, there is an implicit deny after each policy. And so um, if you want to allow any other traffic, uh, you have to add a, um, an explicit rule that allows all other traffic. Okay, so I'm permitting any traffic here from any source, any destination, and any protocol. Okay. Um, create the policy and you can see that the policy is being created it's there I can click on it and you can see both rules in there now before I apply the security policy to the networks uh, let me just show you the diagram again uh, you can see the vSphere hosts um, over here um, there are four VMs connected. As you can see the 201102, the 202110, the 201101, and the 202105. So really what I'm going to do is, and I also showed you that in the previous video, um, see if I can uh, reach the 
uh, other VMs. So for example, from 201.102, whether I can reach the 201.101 or the 202.105 on the other vSphere host. And let me just show you that. Um, so this is the 201.102. Just quickly. Right, so 10.6.201.102. And I should be able to reach the 10.6.201.101, which is on the other switch. I can reach that host, and I should also be able to reach the 202.105, which is on the other network. Okay, so that's all working fine. Okay, so the policy is created, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to assign that policy to the network. And let me start by assigning it to network 1201. So I'm going to update the network, and I'm going to assign that policy to the egress. Now, that sounds uh, like counterintuitive, because typically if you, um, you know, take the switch, um, and if you apply an ACL or a, you know, a policy or whatever, you do that on ingress of the switch. Now with PSM, the, uh, the VMs, the workloads are um, taken as like the initiator. So for uh, a VM, it means that traffic leaving the VM, so egressing the VM um, needs to be blocked. Uh, and that's the, that's the way of thinking that we have in PSM. So in this um, in this case in PSM, we need to apply the security policy as an egress policy. Okay. And so let's uh, do that uh, on egress and save the policy. And let's check whether we can still reach the uh, the destination from the VMs. Okay, so we're on the 201.102. Let's see if we can reach the 201.101. And you can see we cannot reach that uh, VM anymore. So that means that the ping is blocked. And uh, we should all know, also not be able to reach the 202.105 anymore. Okay, and that's also the case. Now I haven't re uh, I haven't applied the security policy to network 12 um, 1202. Um, so that implies that means that I still should be able to reach the 1201 network from the 1202 network. So let's put that to the test. 6.201.102 and you can see that that is still working so what that means is that um, you can see here that the ICMP policy is assigned to 1201 and it is not assigned to 1202 now if I that means that 1202 can still reach 1201 because the policy has not been enforced and so if I assign that block ICMP policy to network 1202, if I go back here, um, let's take another VM here, which is the 1201101. And let's see if I can ping the 10.6.201.102 now. Actually, this is on the 1201 network. That shouldn't happen. And if I take the this one, so this was this uh, host, this VM is on the uh, 1202 network. I should not be able to reach the 10.6.201.101. Uh, this is the VM that is on the other switch, and you can see that that. Um, host is also blocked with ICMP.
Now let me also show you the firewall logs. What I can do is I can see the flows that are being um, uh, you know, that are available on the DSMs. I can see that in the firewall logs. And so what I can do here is I go to the VRF. And so you can also already see a lot of flows here. Um, and select the policy, block ICMP. And I want to see all the flows that are denied. And so you can see here, for example, if we take the first entry here, you can see source 10.6.202.1.10 and destination 10.6.201.101. ICMP action is denied and the rule that's been triggered is the block ICMP rule for VLAN 1202, for network 1202. So it's really very easy to see which flows are being blocked in the firewall logs. And that's pretty cool. And this concludes the video uh, demonstrating a configuration of a simple security policy in PAN Sando Services Manager. The next video is all about micro segmentation and that's going to be a very cool video to watch. Um, so I'm going, I will be going through the configuration of a virtual distributed switch on the vSphere host um but i can do that in a very fancy way in a very simple way and um yeah so i will show you that in the next video so if you like the video if you like this one hit the thumbs up button um feedback is always welcome uh, suggestions as well and i hope to see you very soon okay bye bye